Well, President Biden in Poland today calling on NATO allies, the U.S. and the world to stand firm with Ukraine in its nearly year-long war against Russia. Biden rallying a crowd in Warsaw just hours after Russia's president falsely claimed the U.S. and the West began the war in Ukraine. ABC's Justin Finch reports. Before a crowd of 30,000 in Poland and the world, President Joe Biden boldly calling for the U.S. and NATO allies to double down on supporting Ukraine. One year into this war, Putin no longer doubts the strength of our coalition, but he still doubts our conviction. He doubts our staying power. Biden calling out Russian President Vladimir Putin by name, telling crowds that Putin's craven lust for land and power will fail. Hours earlier, Putin also making a big speech. His State of the Nation address took direct aim at the U.S. and the West without mentioning Biden's name. Putin falsely declared that the U.S. and Western allies started the war in Ukraine and that Russian troops are using force to stop it. Biden insisting Putin alone is responsible. President Putin chose this war. Every day the war continues is his choice. He could end the war with a word. It's simple. As Putin spoke, reports of at least six killed and more than a dozen injured in a Russian rocket attack in Kherson, Ukraine. Kiev stands strong. It stands tall. And most important, it stands free. Biden hailing the resolve of Ukraine's capital city following his carefully coordinated war zone visit. A feat the president says is only possible because of Ukraine's determination and critical weapons support from the U.S. and NATO allies. Putin also announced Russia would temporarily pause involvement in the Obama-era New START nuclear arms treaty with the U.S. Russia's foreign ministry later explaining it intends to adhere to a responsible approach, saying Russia will continue strictly complying with quantitative restrictions on offensive weapons. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.